together for companionship, for kicks, and to be somebody where they seem to be nobody. They also band together for safety, for here blind pride and frustration can and do lead to violence. The story of a unique program of the Chicago YMCA to deal with this problem, and of this boy who got in trouble with a gun, of this boy who got shot in the leg, and of this man one boy to make the biggest decision of his life. This man's one aim, to keep it cool. This is our story as the Prudential Insurance Company of America presents the 20th century. dynamic city, society. Chicago, another part of the city, another society, a contrast not unique to Chicago. It is a national problem of poor housing, few job opportunities, school dropout. Two worlds in one, and George Dryden works in both. Little All-America halfback at Wheaton College, Illinois, Bachelor of Arts, Dryden is a supervisor of YMCA detached workers. He works in the violence from destroying lives. That's what he means by keeping it cool. The detached worker program of the Chicago YMCA works with youths of all hanging out on street corners in various sections of the city. These youths grow up under the same conditions. Poverty walls them out of the society most Americans know. Seeking to be someone, anyone, some get into the people in the neighborhood know that workers like Hank Bach, an Indiana University athlete, are trying to lead these youths toward goals they all desire, and which few know how to reach. Which guys were they? Punks. Punks. Ten, eleven years old. Lippy is all hell. Right. I mean, uh, when I say lippy, this is not only for males, this is also for females. Well, we'll talk to them. I'll see them tomorrow, in fact, okay, if that's the same guys there. We'll do, yeah. Okay, thank you, Larry. The detached worker hangs with the group, almost one of them. He slowly develops a program of activities, outings, sports events. He also develops a staff, field assistants, consultants chosen from group leaders. They are paid 10 to $30 a month through a Ford Foundation grant, but the pay is secondary to their pleasure in having legitimate responsibility, the experience of helping your own group stay. This is an all ending a tournament run by workers, consultants, and assistants. Elsewhere, where there is no such program, youth gangs fight and rumble for their status in the streets. In Chicago, the Y also run their own newspaper, filling it with items from the neighborhoods. The program runs school tutoring projects, staffed by undergraduate volunteers from Chicago's colleges, and a placement service for boys who convince they're ready to move from aimless hanging out to a regular job. This smoothly run softball tournament is just a sample of a dramatic rediscovery that attached workers have made. Youth in poverty and con and do function legitimately when the positive challenge is offered. Come here, brother. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Uh, okay, little cool breeze. You got no chest on you. You're all right. Look here, look here. Hey, Jesse. The detached worker speaks in their own language, in their own street. George Dryden must shed his four years of college, slip into the street talk, reach the group from the inside, not from the outside in. Dryden is listening, looking for signs of conflict. Stopping trouble is the program's first main goal. Yeah. Hey, Robert, what's to it? You played a good ball game. Tom yesterday. Lecture, another college graduate athlete, is a new detached worker, learning from George. Well, I tell you what we're going to do. I'm going I'm to break on back over to the Y. I'm going to see you guys later on. And you cats keep things up tight. Don't, don't, don't stop. Butch, you keep things quiet, too. 
Give me a cigarette, brother, before you get knocked down. Oh. Yeah, young dude got a little hot. Huh? Well, really when you get a tape. Huh? Really rap when you get a tape. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. He's all right. He's all right. Everything's going to be all right. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to break on down this way. I'll see you guys later, OK? Right. You guys be cool now, huh? is not all right, not so cool. In the night, in front of this Y, after a fight, a boy named Richard was shot in the leg. A boy named Ronald fired the gun. And this boy, Richard, who demands satisfaction. Yeah, he told me I'll shoot him again, so if I see him in person, I'll shoot him. Uh -huh. The police say on this big reason, but if I see him in person, I'll shoot him. They, they put him in jail, that's what I want him. But if I see him walking the street and I got a gun, I'm going to shoot him. Where do you think uh, Ronald went? It is two days later. A 20th century camera is following George Dryden when this happened. Hey, there's, there's, uh, there's old Richard. Where? Richard Johnson. See him? See him limping down there? Yeah, Ronald's coming. Uh, the best thing, are those guys talking yet? They're not talking to each other at all? What's that? Ah, uh, Richard Johnson won the Ronald shot. Ah, uh, damn. This, this, this. We get from it. Hey, 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 come here. Come here. Hey, Ronald, come here. Come here. I know you were looking at something. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, I see him too. Now, come on, come on, come on. This hey, is Ronald who fired the gun. You know what we ought to do? Uh, uh, hey, he's trying to get in on the no. picture. Let's, let's walk on down this way. Come here. Come here. Who wants in there with what? Come here. Come here. Come here, Ronald. Come here. Come here. Come here. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, what you doing? I don't do nothing. Oh. Uh, this thing is probably what we should do. You got something for another one. Huh? You got Who? Hey. Wait a minute. Yeah, don't worry about it. Let me, you let me handle this. Here? Now, now wait a minute. Here? Right. He ain't gonna do nothing, right? Now, hey, hey, Mac, you don't do a thing. You don't do nothing either, here? You don't do a thing. Samson, you don't let me handle this situation. Ain't nothing gonna go down. Ain't nothing. So we handle the situation, brother. Yeah, no, we, I know we know we know what's going on. We handle some. We we'll handle everything, Richard. We we'll handle everything. This is Richard, the boy who was shot. I know what. We'll handle it, Richard. I'm the one that called man in the first place. So there's no need starting anything yet. Okay. Okay. Nothing wrong, brother. It's gonna be all right. I'm gonna shoot you too. No, man. How do you think? I'm gonna shoot you too. Hey, I actually know it. Yeah. That's all right. I'm gonna let shoot you now. Uh, you know, see, the first place is no need. You know that. Oh, yeah, tell the truth, uh, yeah, but there's no need to talk that talk. Because yeah. let me tell you, one thing is, you guys are all young. I can go home and get mad. No, no, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Round? No, hold No, uh uh. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is all in. Oh, good. I mean, You're, I don't even know the boy, man. Yeah, walk but, up and shoot me. All right, but still, still the thing was that it's more to just a shooting than, than that took place. See, first, of all, first of all, first of all, this stuff around boy yeah, section, right? Yeah, first of all, let me, let me, I'll straighten this stuff out with you later, okay? Yeah, I want to know why a man shot me. Right, but you know, he had a conversation with all these kids around yeah, here. Girl. Now you know that. Yeah. I'll, I'll straighten out with him later. Nothing, huh? Richard, I'm going to be straight with you, brother. I'm going to be straight with you. Come on. Come on, come, come on, come on. I got a bullet for you again, too. Come on, come on. Don't worry. I'm going to get you before you get mad, though. I always get mad, but don't tell me you want to shoot me. You just get a bullet from me, though. Mean. See, think. Think. But 
Jim Oldham is the detached worker up tight with Ronald's group. He too is a college graduate. He and Dryden Ronald to turn himself into the police. Pico is Ronald's brother. Pico, as your brother, as, as what, what do you think now? You his brother. What do you think about the situation? Yeah, I think that's be all right. Yeah. That's the that's the safest way out, you know. Because if they that's catch the best. him, if they catch that's him, the best. you're gonna get the time. You're gonna get what they can put on you, everything they can put on you. If you go down there on your own accord, I'll just tell them that you told me to take that you asked me to bring you down there. That meant that you wanted to turn yourself in. I mean, it's your decision. Nobody can tell you what to do. I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you to make up your mind. But if you're going to continue to run, if you, if you don't make it to mind, run it. And every time you look around, you see little blue cop. You're going to be running. And I know you're tired of hiding and running now. You know what the best thing to do? If you wanted to, uh, you have Jim take you down there late. Like late Sunday uh, night or something like that. Late Sunday night. Uh, and you go to court the next day. You go to court the next day. All this right. is about the only suggestion I could put for him. All right. I'm going to send you now, but I ain't going to make it. I'm going to do that right now. Well, how late Sunday night? I don't care. Any time. Any time after what? I don't care. I'm going to leave. Just leave. Long to leave. I ain't going. I'm going down there about 10, 11, 12. All right. About 10 o'clock. You know what I would suggest you? Yeah. Let Ronald find you. Find me tomorrow. About yeah. 10 o'clock tomorrow night. I don't want to know where you are tonight. Or, or tomorrow morning. Or tomorrow morning. Like I just, just. There's a term on the street, shoot someone through the grease. It means to con, to deceive. On Sunday night, Ronald fails to show as he shoots through the grease. Oldham and Dryden are patient. They know the unrealistic hopes of escape of a boy like this. They also know that the street, no matter what outsiders may think, is freedom sweet when you have little else. Monday morning, the only thing to do is to keep looking. Monday night, if Dryden can't find Ronald soon, the police. Only a lot of walking on the street will bring an answer. One last place, if we don't... Go down this way? Yeah. Well, you walk somebody. Yeah, man, you walk too fast. Uh, I ain't even pushing, Jim. In the night, they find out why Ronald may have shot them through the grease. His group is not really convinced. Even if Ronald wants to turn himself in, he would lose face if his group, his little society, does not accept the action. Ronald has said he will turn himself in. Dryden and Oldham must gain the approval of the group for Ronald's action. I had when he was drunk. Who was? Who, who was? Drunk. Drunk? Uh, come here, Jack. What was that you said last name? Drunk? Yeah, what are you going to do, shoot me through the grease? No, he said, uh, the... You going to give himself up today? He going to give himself up today. Is that what he told me? Did you, you think he was going to do it? Huh? I didn't think he would. What he said is that he wouldn't. I know he wouldn't. Oh, I mean, if, if the fellow is interested in turning himself in, then, then you guys, uh, all you fellows, know, know uh, the main reason. You think Ryan going to turn himself in? Well, we don't know. You don't think so? He ain't. He said he was. He said, he said last night he was. <laughs> well, I, I know, I know. It's, 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 it, uh, it's questionable, but uh, I, have a, I, have, I have a strong hunch that he's going to. If I, if I wanted to trick on Ronald, I could have tricked on him yesterday. I could have had him picked up all day yesterday. There was, no, there was no, nothing to keep me from tricking on him. I'm out here to help him. And this is a cold, cold world. You don't get too many people to help you, somebody. I'm, I'm going to give you my phone number. Now, if you guys don't, if, if they catch him before you guys call me and I get him, there's nothing I can do for him. But if you call me, then before they catch him and let me get him, then we may be able to, I may be able to help him. I don't know how much help is going to be now because 
we supposed to we supposed to by this time. Maybe Ryle needs some encouragement. Maybe that's why he got got a little mellow. Because he, he had to make up his mind. Yeah. Yeah. Try to help him make up his mind. Yeah. What you guys going with what you guys? You want, you want us to walk around there with you or you gonna walk around and see if you can find Come on, y'all. You want us to go or what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. Okay. I think I think I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you point blank. I think it's the right step. What do you think, Samson? Huh? They got you in a sweat, huh, brother? I know I just feel. Then early Tuesday morning, George Dryden finds Ronald waiting on the street in his path. Come here. Come here. Huh? Wait a minute. Come, on. Come here. Come on. How you feel? All right. Huh? All You're right. tired, aren't you, Ron? No, I ain't tired. You a little high? No, I've been asleep all day. Right. And I just told him to say that. What, what, what's, what's been the problem, Ron? Just, just ain't... Just ain't feel like going to jail no John is hot outside. I'd be doing time in jail. Everybody's got this hot ass sun. Uh-huh. Come on, let's go and get it over with shoes, man. Watch him. The thing is, I want you to make your make up your own mind on it, Ronald. Get it, Dad. I give it up, Dad. Uh, would you give me full area youth offices, please? Uh, it's about uh, a shooting situation. Well, I I don't want I I want the youth bureau car to come. I don't want the uniform men to come. Ronald with worker Jim Oldham, a YMCA office. And could you get it all right? Okay. Old him, right? Oh, uh, he's about 15 years old. 16. Right. Okay. The address, well, the main entrance is on Ossington. It's, uh, the building's on kids in Ossington. And the main entrance is on Ossington. Okay, thank you. has been satisfied. Society will now try to rehabilitate a boy who is blamed for a violent act. Ron is just one of many in the day's work for the detached workers in the streets of Chicago. And in Chicago is an all busy, complicated complexes called cities until the many causes contributing to individual and youth conflicts are met head on. A handful of YMCA detached workers and workers from other agencies do their best to Keep it cool. Okay, boys, want to stand for the squad car so nobody gets hurt after that? Get back off that squad car. Are you going to be over there, George? No, I think I'm going to stay here. Right, right. I'll see you later, okay? Right, very good, George. Okay. Thank you. Ronald? Okay? Good enough.
Next week at this time, the Prudentia will present the man of action, Lord Louis Mountbatten, commando leader, supreme commander, viceroy, on the 20th century.